Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I create new style of seamless animation with using Cinema 4D R21. So firstly guys, I'm going to take a cube. So go to here and change cube size. Guys, size I take 50 and Y axis I take 2. And guys, last one take 50. Yeah, right. So fill it check and fill it radius. I take 0 0.3. Yeah, and subdivision I take 5 yes see guys that's my cube and second shape guys I apply jar 3d model that's my 3d model jar yes and go to up like this yeah yeah right see okay so now guys select both object and group I take null object and make child with null. Yeah. See guys, right? So guys, I create animation like this. Yes. So guys, now I increase frame. Frame, I take 130. Yeah. Yes. And guys, select this null object. And guys, go to here, like minus 180 degree. And press this animation key. Yeah. Guys, go to 30 frame and guys, go to here and position minus 360 and check. Yeah, guys, go to 100 frames and increase actually minus 300 same. Yeah, and last one, I go to 130, increase like this minus 540 yeah see guys that's my animation yeah simple guys right okay so guys now i create seamless animation so null object so go to timeline i have curve tool and that's my graph editor and press ctrl a and click on here liner yes that's my graph editor so go to back and play. Yeah. See guys, that's my seamless animation. Right. Okay. So now guys, I go to here, simulate and particle use emitter. Guys, that's my second animation. So go to up and emitter. Guys, why position I take like 50. Yeah and emitter size i take 8 and 8 yes and yeah right okay so now guys for particle i take spare this one and select spare guys spare radius i take 1.5 and select the spare and make child with emitter yeah and guys go to emitter and show object check yes and play yeah, good. Right. Okay. So now, guys, I apply tags. So select both object, this one, and right click. That's my collider body tag. And second one, I take rigid body tag. Yes, and play. Yeah, that's really good. Right. Okay. So now, guys, go to here. I go change animation. Stop emission, I take 90 and start emission, I take 40. And birth editor, like 300 and 300. Yeah. And guys, see, you can change like this and play. Yes, that's really good. Right. Okay, guys, birth editor, little bit change, like 280. Yes, much better. See guys, that's really good. Right? See. Okay, so now guys, I apply material. So go to back and guys, that's my material file materials. Guys, apply random material. So copy this pair and apply any material like this. And last one, blue material. 
yeah and white material on here cubes and yeah all is good and play yes see guys that's my beautiful animation right okay so now guys this one second step i apply cloner so so guys select this null object and make child with cloner yes see guys that's my position and guys decrease size like this yeah and go to back and play okay so now guys i apply actually copy this emitter and copy actually change position first of all so holding control key actually shift key yeah and go to here yeah and copy this emitter yes i select this one yes and play yeah much better right see guys that's my position and now guys again copy this emitter yes and group or g yeah and go to back and play yes see guys that's really good right okay so now guys select this cloner and reset count and play yeah yeah that's my final animation guys and after that go to 100 frame and rotate yeah it's really good yeah very nice okay so now guys i apply more emitters so stop and guys go to here null object and copy so same holding control key actually shift key and again null object yeah see guys that's my final one yeah it's really good right see guys that's my seamless animation guys this animation take little bit time that's my heavy particles okay so now guys my animation is finished i apply lights i use only sdri environment light yeah okay so now guys i take sky and that's my sky material and right click go to rendering tag and compositing and scene by camera uncheck yes and guys for background i take background and guys you can create material for background new default material reflection uncheck and color i take dark blue color dark blue yes yeah see guys that's my material for background and apply our background and render preview yeah see guys that's my simple render okay so guys go to render setting and i take only global illumination and indirectly catch i take low and anti select best yeah and again go to here render preview yeah see guys that's my beautiful render right okay so go to render setting and output use all frame and go to save i take jpeg sequences so go to desktop and create new folder and take any file name yeah that's it so render yeah right okay so guys that's it and now i take some color correction also saturation i take like 30 
and contrast I take three and brightness three yeah right okay so guys that's it my final composition is finished with using simple render standard render so guys if you like my video please share and subscribe to the channel thank you